Hello and welcome to the Nation Newsroom and for today's top stories. The criminal court on Tuesday rejected the request of Pua Thai party candidate Ko Keo Pikuntong to be released temporarily. Ko Keo had his lawyer file the request saying that he had to submit the financial statement to the election officials on Wednesday. But the court reasoned that Ko Keo could have his accountant file the election spending statement to the election commission on his behalf. Kokeo, one of the detained red shirt leaders, has applied to be a candidate in the Bangkok by-elections. His lawyer argued that Kokeo has only been detained and has not yet been convicted of a crime. This means that he is innocent until then and has the rights to stand for the Bangkok by-elections. Deputy Prime Minister Suthek Tuksuban ordered security officials to be on full alert two days after grenades hit an army oil depot. It is possible that the army may be recalled to urban security duty in the capital to help police maintain order. Mr. Suthek's order followed Democrat Party spokesman Buranat Samutarak's warning that some 40 key locations are targeted for sabotage. The Deputy Prime Minister said he earlier asked security agencies to boost their vigilance, but the areas were vast and the number of security person was small, so incidents could take place anyway. National Security Council Secretary General Thawin Plansuri said that the emergency decree may affect the rights and freedom of the people, but it will be useful in forcing security and maintaining stability. So Tape said there has yet been no conclusion as to what group carried out the grenade attack at the quartermaster department in Nomtaburi. He said he awaits a report from the police. The police said that only one of the 11 fuel containers in the storage area was hit by grenades. The grenades punctured over 20 holes in the 10 million litre fuel containers. No explosion occurred as the tanks were empty. For further information, please turn to our websites at nationmultimedia.com. Thank you for joining me here in the Nation Newsroom.